Hello comrades and welcome back to Steve on Steve Plays China Mouse Legacy. This is a wonderful game and I'm sorry for a bit of a period in between releases, just a lot of stuff going on. But yes, right back into the game. We left off with China in disarray, our economy is a bit shit. Um, we crushed a revolt, which was okay. Liberalization is crushed, which is gonna be fantastic, but also support of the people is quite low. And money is bad, <laughs> we're losing a lot of money, but at least the support of the party is relatively high. We should be okay, and I think this is gonna be the last video because in the next few months some big events are gonna happen, I'm not allowed to go over the year 1976, because the game isn't finished yet, and of course that's totally understandable. Now let's have a look at our economy and try to fix things. Corruption. We're... Our corruption is increasing. Okay, that's interesting. Why is our corruption increasing? Is it because of our state mechanism? Also, if anybody can please let me understand what this means, because I have no idea what's happening here. Like, what does this mean? What happens if I click on these buttons? And I don't know. <laughs> I've not been able to figure it out. Okay, I guess we should cut state mechanism, because I think that contributes to corruption. Maybe cut down on propaganda a bit? Diplomatic missions? That surely must contribute. Put a bit more into industry, I really want industrial development, and science as well, it's very important. We'll cut it when time comes, but for now let's unpause and get on with it. Uh, let's, look at, let's have a quick look at politics. Yeah, politics is doing well, except there's going to be a few reformists and liberals are going to be climbing up the ladder quite soon. Yeah, which is problematic. But we need to keep a high amount of agents, is what I figured out, because we might get cooed because of certain events that will happen. Yeah, let's see, what can I do? Let's India, next light, support the Maoist rebels there. Uh, this just sends them a few agents, okay, we don't actually spend any money on that, surprisingly. And then, when the next lights win, I guess, I can form relations with them, but when is that gonna happen? I don't know. Maybe that's not implemented, or maybe that happens several years down the line. Okay, we're still bad on the money. Do I just put more money into the MSS to try to hunt down corruption? I don't know. What do I what do I do to lower corruption? Maybe propaganda? I want to fund the MSS more for obvious reasons. Let's see, uh, let's ban reformers. Yeah, that makes my party pissed, okay. Let's not do anything with that anymore. Okay, the relationship with the party is deteriorating very quickly. But I think we'll be okay, as long as we have a strong agent network, which we do. We'll be A-OK. -okay. Okay, again, money is tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Corruption. Um, if anybody has any idea how to fix corruption, please let me know in the description. I mean, in the comments below. Or in Discord, that would be very, very helpful. I'm just going to cut diplomatic missions, because who needs diplomacy when you have socialism? <laughs> yes, official Steve on Steve quote 2019. Event, Tang Shan Earthquake. On July 28th, a magnitude 8.2 earthquake on the Richter scale. 8.2, that's massive! In the city of Tang Shan at 3.42 local time, as a result of which the city was almost completely destroyed. The destruction also took place in Tianjin and Beijing. Uh, according to preliminary data, from 200 to 600,000 people died. <laughs> what? That cannot be real, that's insane! That's fucked up! That's so many people just... Good lord, that's horrible. Fuck. I'm just googling it and... Yeah, like 240,000 people. Jesus. Wow, okay, I'll get on. Sorry, that was just fucked up. Um, main reason for the cluster destruction was the lack of necessary measures. Oof, okay. Um, allocate funds from the budget, naturally, to make everybody happy. Because, of course, if you ask for humanitarian aid, it makes the party unhappy. Um, again, corruption is not decreasing, I've been able... I don't know, previous times I've been playing, I've managed to get it down. Maybe it's just to do with technology? Is there another technology that helps with that? Okay, we're almost done with the Great Leap Forward recovery. Will some kind of conveyor production help with... Corruption? It might? I don't know. I genuinely have no idea. Cut down propaganda and diplomatic missions and fund state mechanism. And army, maybe that could work. Let's see. 
Um, something very bad is about to happen next month, which will be quite difficult for all of us, or at least in another month. But yeah, this money situation is actually quite difficult. Okay, we managed to actually cut down on corruption. It's not increasing. That's something. Hopefully once the economy starts to recover, we'll be able to fix it. Ah, the worst event in any game ever. The death of the helmsman. A terrible thing happened. After two transferred heart attacks, transferred heart attacks? Um, okay. On September 9th at 0, 10 minutes, on the 83rd year of life, the great leader and teacher of the Chinese people, Chairman Mao Zedong, passed away. As long as all the people and the party are grieving, we need to convene the funeral commission and decide how we are going to conduct the chairman in his last journey. Uh, we're not going to give it to the funeral commission because we want to maintain power, so we're going to build a mausoleum. And that increases party loyalty. After Mao's death was announced, his body was placed in the house of people's congregations for a week, so that everybody could say goodbye to the chairman. Mourning was declared throughout the country. Many Chinese people have come to pay their last honors to their great leader and teacher. After the deadline, Mao's body was taken to the hospital and embalmed by a specially developed technique. After three minutes of silence and Hua Guofeng's farewell speech on Tiananmen Square, the chairman rested in a mausoleum built on the same square by a special order of Guofeng. So, Chairman Mao is dead. It's pretty shit, isn't it? I mean, money is still tight. We're just consistently losing money. I don't know where to put it. I guess we should cut down on agriculture a bit, maybe. Science should theoretically help with that. Theoretically. Shouldn't it? Another event. Instability in Thailand. Ooh, okay. Against the backdrop of social instability and the constant confrontation between left and right forces, the royal family of Thailand decided in September to organize the return of the country to the radical right general. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name. So, condemn the cruelty of Thailand. Yeah, sure. Why not? Can we actually invade someone? Um, can I get involved in Southeast Asia at all? Rebellion. Oh, support the rebellions of the military in order to overthrow Pol Pot. Shit, that's awesome. Let's do that. Okay. Has anything happened? Oh yeah, it's now red, Cambodia. Huh, sweet. We need to f I, need to I still haven't figured out how to found your own like economic union, but that obviously is a late game. Another event. Gang of four. Ooh, now this is very interesting. Now that our chairman Mao Zedong has passed away, the internal party struggle again flared up in the CCP. On the one hand, there are four closest to the great helmsman supporters of the line and the continuation of the Cultural Revolution, but with a course normalizing relations with the USSR. Jiang Xing is Mao's spouse and the head of the Cultural Revolution group of the CPC Central Committee. Wang Hongwen is a prominent member of the 10th Party Congress who is actually declared the successor to Mao. Zhang Qingxiao and Yao Wenyuan. Okay, I'm sorry. On the other hand, the reformers were gaining strength by the disgraced ideologies of the half-market reforms of the early 70s Deng Xiaoping, who are in favor of the earliest possible withdrawal of the Cultural Revolution and the beginning of large-scale market reforms with the unchanged anti-Soviet course. Moreover, it is the left radicals who are currently the greatest threat to our government, but to neutralize them it will be necessary to ally with reformers. Oh, I'm not doing that. I am the left radicals. Huh. Okay, compromise and enlist the support of the radicals. Uh-huh. Yes, let's do that. The growing influence of the reformers in the wake of Mao's death scared not only Wu Feng, but also the Wang Zhang Cheng Yao group. So the new chairman of the PRC decided to join forces with them. The negotiations were conducted through the mediation of Mao Yunjing, Mao Mao Zedong's nephew, for a long time. However, we managed to reach an agreement. In exchange for support, the Wang Zhang Cheng Yao group demanded removal from the post of the PRC Minister of Defense. Yes, the people shuffled around. Military Council. Um, at, the, at the meeting of the political bureau of the CPC Central Committee, Deng Xiaoping was again attacked, returning the slogan criticize Deng and speak against the flow of the right bias aimed at revising the right decisions. Okay, that's a mouthful. The influence of Xiaoping began to decline again, especially due to the departure of his guardian angel, Jenning, from the PLA command posts. Okay, interesting. So, we're alive. The country is strong and stable. Unlike a certain formerly European country. Oh, okay, so corruption is actually decreasing, although I don't know how. <laughs> I've done nothing so far that makes sense that would work. 
All right, there's a conspiracy against me. So from what I've been able to tell, if party loyalty drops below 50, you, there's a conspiracy against you, which might have you, you know, there's a coup, you might get removed. Um, okay, so we've done this. Consolidation of agricultural facilities. Let's do some improved conveyor protection, some industry. Weak alliance. Okay, so the wobbly compromise between Huang Feng and the radical left is cracking at the seams. Oh shit. I haven't actually picked this choice before, so I don't know what this is. Frank dissatisfaction with the agreement of many more moderate party members, greatly undermining the position of the current chairman, and his gentleness in resolving these issues threatens to lead to unpredictable consequences. Moreover, the four require more decisive measures against the opposition and revisionists in the party, and at the same time further expanding their power to follow Mao's course. If this continues further, Guo Feng will have to transfer power to the left more and more. Okay. Wang Dongjing, the leader of the 8341 Special Regiment, who remains loyal to the chairman, is still ready to help in the fight against them. Although given the increased strength of the left thanks to the compromise in October, perhaps the best solution would be only to remove the most ambitious of keeping the agreement with the rest. Oh shit. Arrest all four. Enlisting the support of the Special Regiment 8341 as well as the highest generals, Hua Guofeng convened an extraordinary Congress of the Politburo, right at which the leaders of the radical faction were arrested. Following this, a wave of arrests of loyal functionaries swept through Beijing and Shanghai, although it was not without some excesses given the increased influence of the radicals. A large-scale campaign has launched in the press to condemn the conspirators who have already been dubbed the Gang of Four which was now blamed for the numerous victims of the Cultural Revolution, as well as the attempt to seize power after Mao's death. Nice. Great, so we have basically seized total political control. We've destroyed the gang of left. Let's see how our party is doing. Okay, that's... I guess that doesn't reflect by the events. But yes, that's amazing. We've done so well for ourselves so far. Oh yeah, there's empty ministers now who... Oh wow, like half of all the important people. Alright, so we need a chairman. Moderate, no, I don't want a moderate. I want a left radical to be the chairman. Nice. And then I want another left radical to be the premier. No, wait. Yes, and then I want this guy, another left radical, to be the MFA. Wait, wait, is there no CMC anymore? There we go. Okay. So we're appointing left radicals to important positions. Um. Can you be a chairman and in charge of one of the regions? I hope so. Yeah, you can. Okay, nice. You see, we're centralizing power in, in a few individuals. North. There we go. That should help with party loyalty and hopefully actually root out corruption and things like that. Um, we've only got one month of gameplay left, so let's get on with it. Uh, still might be a coup even though I have high support of the party. Interesting. Okay, we're still bleeding money, which is unfortunate, but whatever, I guess. Unfortunately, we must decrease services, which... Mm, not great. Event. Wind of change. Ooh. After Mao died and you finally concentrated power in your hands, it is time to determine the future path of China, because every faction of the CCP sees it its own way. Conservative Maoists are in favor of continuing Mao's policies, but without questionable experiments, which means the end of the Cultural Revolution and campaigning. The reformers, of course, are in favor of ending the Cultural Revolution in large scale to reforms primarily in the economy, in order to improve the Chinese economy after Mao's failed attempts to intervene in her work. All moderates believe that China needs, needs change, but some will need an end to the Cultural Revolution and a small economic reorganization, whilst others join the reformers demanding deep market reforms. So what are we going to do about it? We continue the work of Mao, phasing out the Cultural Revolution. Phase out the Cultural Revolution and we need to do something with the economy. Or let's phase out the Cultural Revolution and start developing large-scale reforms. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Continue the work of Mao and phase it out. You solemnly declare China's loyalty to Mao's precepts based on the slogan, To Whatevers. We will resolutely uphold whatever policy decision Chairman Mao game... Uh, sorry, I can't speak today. We will resolutely uphold whatever policy decisions Chairman Mao made and unswervingly follow whatever instructions Chairman Mao gave. Despite this, the recent foci of the long-fading Cultural Revolution are beginning to be actively eliminated, which certainly pleases the Chinese people. But further adherence to conservative Maoism also gives rise to discontent from both the people ab uh, and abroad and the CPC reform circles. Well, they'll have to be a bit crushed one day eventually. So we're actually making a bit of money, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so I feel like this is it. Christmas of the 12th of 
December, I mean Christmas December 1976. I believe this is where we're gonna have to end it. Thank you very much for everybody that's watched this so far. I hope you enjoyed this, this game is turning out fantastic. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Please leave any comments, ideas, suggestions, or for future videos, or anything like that in the comments below. Please join our Discord where we can hang out and post memes and actually get into some pretty deep discussions about communism and philosophy. It's actually fantastic. I'm surprised by how amazingly our Discord has turned out. So please join that and we'll have great fun. And as always, subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.